Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So, if you've been following my Tamiya TRF 503 journey, you know that we got it to this stage and the thing is absolutely epic. Um, without doubt one of my favourite cars I've ever done. Um, not just on this channel, just, just one of the best cars I've ever owned. It's absolutely stunning and it's something I've wanted for a long time to have it in sort of genuine sort of Tamiya box art, full TRF scheme. Absolutely love it. Anyway, as I said, if you have been following, you know that I actually have two shelves for this. This was the original one, but we thought it had got lost in the post. So big shout out to Craig from our Facebook group, who's, who's doing a lot of painting at the moment for us. Um, he did a second one off his own bat. Now, it's it's very similar, but it's very different at the same time. So this one was um, done in pearl paint. Um, every colour it has the pearl effect. And I really like it. It, it comes with a different style wing. Um, this is a rock hopper wing, and it's got a lot more shape to it than the standard kind of Tamiya racing wing. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to get this. This is a shelf queen shell, and I think this is going to be my runny, running shell. But... Maybe once the stickers are on and it's mounted to the car, this might be, it might, this might go to the shelf queen shell and that becomes my runner shell. I don't know, but I'm very curious to see what this looks like when it's done. So we'll get the wing and shell mounted on the car, and then I've got the genuine Tamiya um, TRF 503 stickers that came with this kit. Now it's not the sticker wise, decal wise, it's not going to be as in your face as this one is. This is one, this, this one's plastered with the Tamiya TRF stuff where this one's going to be a lot more subtle and these ones have the chrome, silver chrome effect. So um, yeah, I'm quite excited to see what this looks like and to see at the end of it which one, which scheme you guys prefer the look of. Um, because right now, I'm edging towards this one, but as always, when you start putting new shells and decals on, things change. So um, let's get into this. So I'm not too sure if it comes up on camera that well how kind of different it actually is or if they do look very similar. But um, this is a, the pearl effect one. I think you see it more on the on the white where it's you can definitely see the pearl effect and it's obviously darker from sort of more brilliant white that this one has. Um, but very, very cool indeed. Slightly different shape on the canopy as well. Um, the wing is very different. I think that's what's going to make this car look very different once it's mounted. You can see the shape of it. And we haven't got as, as much room to put decals on as such. So I think on this particular body shell and wing, it's going to be less is more, if that makes sense. So this is the only decals I have for it. I've just about used all my kind of spare TRF decals now. But this is a little sheet that came with the 503 kit which I did use just a couple on, on the main shell, but you get the gist of them, and they're very, they, they pop really nicely. Now what you don't get in this are the big TRF ones, you know the ones, the big Tamiya's and the big TRF on the wing. Um, you get these smaller ones with the World Championship team on. So, and I did dig this out. This was from a Tamiya chrome set I did um, about a year ago on the Terra Conqueror I did. Um, so that might be a good one for the wing. Who knows? I don't know. So anyway, that's what we're using. So best thing to do now, get this one off and let's get the new wing mounted. Right, so that's the wing mounted. It is very, very different from the uh, racing wing we've got on the other shell. There's, uh, there's a lot more shape to it. Kind of a lot more depth to it. It kind of does look very different. Right, let's get the shell mounted. Right, that's with, with the shell on. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? Again, you obviously just need a few decals to uh, make it look a little bit sort of more finished. But um, yeah, I really like it. It's got, it's, it, it is different. Right, let's start messing around with some decals. Right, that's the wing done. Um, decided to start there first and then sort of become happy with this. And then we'll see what decals we've got left over. Um, yeah, I'm liking that. But these decals kind of only work in the correct light. But um, yeah, that's the middle of it. Try not to cover too much of the beautiful paintwork up. But you kind of get the gist of it. 
So yeah, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that now. So let's make a start on the main shell. So that's the first two. Now I've just copied what I did on the other shell because I really liked them. Um, the 503 at the front and then the Tamiya logo with the colours coming through it. I kind of think that looks pretty class to be honest. Um, so now, yeah, we need to figure out where they're going to go. And also we need to get a decal for this bit because this bit shows up a lot when it's, when it's on. Um, so I'm thinking possibly put these up against the white so you can actually see them they might get slightly lost on those colors now I don't know if it wants to go at the bottom or if it wants to go at the top right let's have a look right this is what I've settled on for the shell so you obviously you've seen the main two on the, 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 front, the top but on the sides I've gone for that it's just getting it in the right light it's quite deceiving so if you see it like that Obviously we've got the Tamiya and the 503 at the bottom and then on the side I've got the 503 and TRF. Kind of like that. I'm kind of thinking that's all it needs. Um, I think we'll bang it on the car now and see what it looks like. I've got a few more decals left over but the purpose of this one was A to use the correct Tamiya decals on it and B to keep as much of the paintwork shown as possible. And uh, kind of think I've achieved that. I'm not too sure if it wants something underneath that 503. Um, anyway, let's get it on the car, see what it looks like. Boom! Yeah, I like it. It's um, it's funny, whereas the other one, because it's all in the big thick white decals, they, they stand out all the time. Whereas on this, you've got it's got to be in certain light. But I think it looks pretty cool. I'm liking it. This is one of those things where I have to sort of go away and sort of uh, just look at it for a while to see if I need to add any more. Very tempted to put something on this pink bit here, some like writing going up it just to break it up slightly. And I'm desperate to put decals here, but I'm not going to. I want to keep the paint. The wing looks really good. The um, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. I think that looks. Um, Excellent to be honest. It's just the right amount of decals, I feel. But um, yeah, I think I think we've got to be happy with that. So guys, what do you think? Do you have a favourite? Um, I'm not so sure at the moment. I I am kind of leaning towards this one just because it's it's more box art from it's more. It looks more like the TRF, just decals I'm talking about. But um, this one does look great. I think it's maybe because it's got to just be in the right light for the decals to work. But um, yeah, I've got to be happy with that. And let's be honest, either shells both class, aren't they? Um, so it's just, a, it's just for me now to decide which one I want as a shelf queen shell and then obviously the other one will become a runner. I may get a few scratches on it in the future, hopefully not. Anyway guys, it was just a short video to, to uh, just cover that second shell. So once again, thanks so much for watching, it's really appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us, and if you do that, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. And as always guys, happy RCing.